Capricorn, how you doing? So I'm just gonna use my iPad for a little while instead of all the other setup. Um, but let's look into any messages that you've got here, Capricorn. Any messages for Capricorn? So we've got, what will they, will they reach out? No. So if you're looking for a past partner or you're kind of like thinking, oh, I really want to talk to this person. I really want to talk to my ex. I really want to talk to my ex. And I've been waiting for ages for this person in order to reach out. Pretty much what it's saying is, is that you could well be wasting your time if you are not going to, or if Steph, Jeff or Steve, but if you are not going to reach out to this person and you haven't heard anything from them, or M, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, then you may not be getting anything at all, okay? So it means that if you really want to talk to this person, you're going to have to try yourself, but will they reach out? Possibly not, okay? Not, if I say not, you might say Pisces swinging on a tree. Could be a Life Path 3 or a Pisces. Uh, Capricorn. So we've got, I don't think you will ever leave them. I need closure. Some of you are really looking for, or someone's looking at, uh, for you to close the book for them. But if you've been waiting and waiting and waiting, cross watchers, and you're watching and you're like, I really haven't heard from this person in ages. I really want to talk to them. They're my twin flame person, so on and so forth. Very karmic situation. Haven't heard anything. Okay. And I need closure. Because it might be where there is a third party and I don't think that you will ever leave that person and you're my twat flame and I've been waiting for you to leave that person for ages but we haven't spoke. It's pretty much saying that they're not going to. They could well be working out their commitments or their marriage or they're just kind of wasting your time. You really could be on the twat flame journey, uh, Capricorn. Let's see, um, Capricorn. Now, this just because it says Capricorn does not mean that it will relate to everybody. Okay. So, yes, but I but the time is not right yet. You've got this very confused energy here of this person that might be lying to you. They might keep going off to someone else. They come back to you. They go off to someone else. They're kind of spinning you a yarn and telling you the fact that they're possibly going to leave this person, but they may not. And so on and so forth. I mean, when I say not, that's my Pisces cards. That's the three of three of pentacles, three of cups, the hangman stuck in a situation. Okay, you do have a 21 here on my deck here, 21. So you could be in some sort of third party situation. Um, Capricorn. So I've got working on it for now. I think that it's the person that's with someone. I think that some of you out there are possibly working on this divine intervention, third party kind of metaphysical, very frustrating karmic energy. And the person that's actually with somebody, they're kind of going through the if, buts, maybes and don't know, kind of going through the works of like splitting up, maybe getting back together. And they keep doing that. And then you keep waiting for them or... I don't know, leaving a comment in my comment section saying, oh, I've given up waiting a long time ago, but I'm still angry, okay? I get people like that all the time. Obviously means that it's still in here, okay? If it wasn't, a different reading would relate to you, which you can find below in the join section, okay, where I do all star signs. So Capricorn, one more message for Cappies. So we've got, what the F are you talking about? So again, it might be where somebody is gaslighting the other person and saying, look, are you seeing someone else? And they're saying, no, of course not. And you're like, you're blatantly lying to me. I know the fact that you have. I've caught you. I've seen it on your phone. I've seen you with this person. And I really do think that you're possibly talking to them in more of a friend manner. I think that you've got a connection with them. Could be with an ex so on and so forth. And you're really confused. You're waiting. And the no is really of like, I don't believe you, okay, because they're saying, you know, are you reaching out to this person? They say, no, I'm not reaching out to them. I'm not talking to them. I'm definitely not. But like I said, I always make sure that clients and everybody that watches Tarot always knows the fact that you've got to see it with your own eyes and you've really got to be able to, because if not, you're going to give up your relationship over paranoia, worry, stress, and then also um, not trusting the person because it may have happened before. And if it happened before then you're going to start to think that it will definitely happen again. And then you'll get caught in this loop of not trusting the person. And then you'll go through fives, five of swords, five of cups, and so on and so forth. So there is this energy of someone where they're possibly questioning this person and saying, look, 
you know, what's the deal? Are you seeing this person or are you not? Because I really don't know. Are you leaving them or are you not leaving them? Because I really don't know where I stand. Are they coming back or are they not? Now, some of you, if you're metaphysically connected to someone from a long time past and you haven't heard from them, then pretty much what it's kind of telling me here is, is that you might want to consider moving on from that energy, from that person and maybe meeting someone else, or at least try and reach out to them, to them yourself and find out what they say yourself. It's up to you what you want to do there. Um, but again, some of you are possibly connected to somebody that's with someone else, wanting to know if they're ever going to really leave this person or not. Uh, now, don't forget, I also read in numerology, which means that Gemini is also a major kind of six as the devil. So when I read in numerology, that means that you can watch this as a Gemini. It doesn't matter if you've got it. Summing, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, it doesn't matter because it's a six. It's the same as me doing a life path six, if you want to follow my method of reading. Okay, so let's give you a couple of these, Capricorn. So you've got the tower. So you're having like a spiritual awakening, possibly realizing that this could be over. Possibly some of you might be trying to avoid the subject because you know that it's going to raise hell. If I if I phone this person or I talk to them, okay, they're going to flip their lid and start going off on one and get really aggressive. And I know that if I talk to them, we're not really going to get anywhere. So I might be trying to avoid reaching out to them to find out that the answer is no, because if I get a no answer, that's not what I wanted. Okay, I can really feel people leaving comments in my comment section. I don't even want them anyway. <laughs> right, but like, it might be this fear of reaching out to someone because of their aggression, knowing that if I do, they're going to start having a go at me. And then I realise that I've got to start again on my own and start over finding someone new, I've got to go through all of the doing myself up, going out, and I don't really want to waste all of this time that I've wasted on this connection and on this person, so I must keep doing it. That's spiritual. That is a, a karmic connection of when it makes you feel like you just need to keep going and going and going and going because you will reach an outcome and you will possibly end up being with this person. That is the trick of the light. <laughs> okay. So it's kind of like pulling a trick on you to say that you might be trying to avoid getting over this. You might be trying to avoid the fact that you're over it. Okay. Um, so let's see. I don't think you will ever leave them. I need closure. Third party situation. Possible three. Could be a Pisces. You've also got 21 on there, which is my deck. So that is a three. Uh, could be a life path three or a Piscean energy or just the fact that there's three energies. Um, yes, but the time is not right. Ace of Cups for this offer. It's not right yet. I'm not prepared to leave this person. So I could be hiding my emotions and my true intentions. This is a major arcana nine. So it can mean a lot of trickery, a lot of trick of the light, a lot of um, a delusional energy, gaslighting, possibly manipulating, lying, because it's a nine. Okay, major arcana nine. Um, this person could also be a mother. They might have children together and stuff like that. And that's making it even more difficult for this person to separate from them because of the, the children being involved, um, working on it for now, but there's aggression and there's anger. Okay. What else do we have? Cause there's two cars here. So some of you might decide to actually reach out and realize that I got a feeling that some of you might reach out and they say, I'm sorry, but I'm working on my relationship with this person. And the answer is no. And it really does piss somebody off here because then they start, like I said, avoiding this and avoiding the five is only just going to make you keep waiting, realizing that I'm just going to have to get this over and done with and say my bit. And then that's it. OK, find out once and for all. Are they coming back? Are they not? Are they working on it with this person or not? But I do need to talk to you and I do need to find out. OK, so what the F are you talking about, Jeff? Jeff, my name is Jeff. What are you talking about, Jeff? Uh, eight of Pentacles. <laughs> so it might be at work and someone's saying, look, what's the matter? And they're like, I'm at work. Yeah, I've got a feeling that you're talking to someone else. And you're like, no, bruv, I'm actually at work. Yeah, but I don't believe you. I've got trust issues. Five, Taurus energy. Life path five, Sag Taurus. And it's kind of like, um, we're working on it for now, but as the moment that I start working or you start working, <clears throat> it stops working. The connection stops working. We don't get to spend as much time with one another as we'd like. You're always at work. You're always working. You're never really considering me. 
okay, I want to spend more time with you, but I can't because I'm working. Then you start getting angry because when you're working, I'm working. And then it's kind of like one foot in the door. See you later, love. Cheers. Thanks very much. See you later. Bon voyage. I'm gone. Then I'm going to work. And then by the time I get home, you go out. And if you're in a commitment and you're in a relationship and there is no third party, there could be a lot of arguments either at work that you're going to witness or, or Whittlesey or Witten or Mandy. You're right, Amanda. But like, um, it's, it's could be happening at work, okay, where people are like really fighting at work, um, and they're kind of like they're going through this gaslighting situation where someone's like, "Look, will you stop? Keep telling me what to do. <laughs> don't do it if you've got someone that's got Scorpio or Life Path Four in the chart. Oh, don't tell them that, okay. But I think some of you are going to realise that this person's working on something already, okay. So there's a very quick reading for you, Capricorn, if you would like different readings with a camera pointed down at the table and we go over all of these yes or no kind of situations and whatnot, you might consider <coughs> joining the join button below for $4 per month where you get access to everything else. I'm also going to start doing teaching videos very soon. Um, but thank you very much. Really do appreciate it and I'll see you soon.